Hello, my friends, and welcome to another live stream for promotion of social togetherness and the fighting of isolation, I think, is something that I can say. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for joining me here today. I see that we've got a few people in the chat already. Uh, some people showed up before I did, so uh, that's exciting. Um, I'm feeling a mite ridiculous. I'm trying to get myself out of the, uh, the awkward mental state that I was in after watching The Walking Dead this morning, because I, I don't know why I torture myself, but it's a beautiful day, and actually I'm going to open this window, because whoever was uh, mowing their lawn has finished. It's too early to mow lawns. If, if you're thinking about mowing your lawn, don't, um, because you should let wildflowers and dandelions grow so that they feed the bees. It's very important to keep our pollinators happy at this time of the year. Because if they can't eat now, then they won't be able to pollinate, you know, crops and things um, later in the season, because they'll all be starved, and that's no good. Anyway, um, hi, welcome. I'm Step, in case I didn't say that. Oh, there's a dog outside. She just went, woof. Um, I am here to be a happy uh, friend and a smiling face and hopefully help you through uh, your day. It's nice to take a break around 2 o'clock during the day to, uh, to reach out and... Oh, goodness, say hello to someone. <laughs> hello to someone who yawns because they don't talk normally by themselves. They just let everyone else talk and then they listen. That's me. Me, I'm talking about. Me, hi. Hi. Um, hello, Tams. Hello, Beth. Hello to any of you other people who are... Um, hey, hello, Shannon. Um, welcome to the stream. I'm happy that you're here. I'm very happy that you, uh, your friend is ensconced in a safe place, Shannon. I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, and uh, I'll be getting on Slack later today, after I do some gardening, to uh, talk about, you know, D&D &D and stuff. And also just catch up, hopefully. Um, it is a wonderful, glorious day out. It's uh, still, the air is still. The sky is blue, the air is cool, um, the sun is high, the trees are becoming green, the birds are around, and, um, yeah, lots of good stuff happening in the world today. How is everyone else's week going? My week feels like it just started, because I spent the first two days watching the Star Wars um, movies marathon. Um, I watched uh, eight, seven, seven movies <laughs> on May the 4th, and I watched two very long movies on May the 5th, um, or Revenge of the 5th, if you prefer. Hello, Megan, welcome to the group. We are all happily chit chatting. Albert may finally be leaving his mount behind. And has become very chatty today. Oh, molt behind. Oh, yes, Albert, your bird. Um, very good, good, good. How is it cleaning up after a bird when they're molting? Is it like cleaning up after a cat when they're shedding? Asking a friend? <laughs> um... I'm afraid I don't have much to say today. I'm I'm gearing up to going out grocery shopping either tomorrow or Friday. Because we're out of fresh veggies, we need some, you know, fresh vegetables. Finally out of mushrooms. I got, like, a whack of mushrooms. They were on sale three packs for $5, and I got, I think, six packs of mushrooms. And that was three weeks ago, I think, they lasted quite a while, um, so that was good. I use a lot of mushrooms in cooking. 
They're one of the things that I throw into everything. Um, but we need some fresh vegetables. We need, you know, milk, that kind of thing. Um, I should, uh, I should really be Instagramming my ramen noodle lunches because, you know, that's a thing that we're apparently supposed to do in this day and age. And the people who I do share with seem to appreciate them, so maybe I should do more of it. Um, so, Wednesday. Tams, Beth, Shannon, Megan, how's your Wednesday going? How's your, how's your week going? Is there anything coming up that you'd like to talk about? I am here... I am here to yawn. I'm here to listen. It is, um... Wednesday, so if you play MTG Arena, it's Brawl Day. Um, you should go and get some... some... matches in. Uh, if you have Brawl deck. Uh, not bad, actually. He's tiny and therefore has a limited number of feathers. The big ones are easy to see and pick up, and the little ones are fluffy and easily vacuumed and slightly less easily swept. Fair enough. Uh, I guess he's a very small bird to be um, causing much trouble. We have two cats and a big dog. Fairly big dog in uh, the house, and the fur is absolutely everywhere. Finally had the windows open for th three days to air the place out, and, uh, yeah, it was nice. It's our technical wedding anniversary today. Well, happy anniversary! Congratulations for however many years you've been together. It's a wonderful, happy thing. Congrats. Say hello to your beautiful wife for me, and, um, to your guest, and, uh, to your bird, too, because why not? I don't know, he's never met me, so, hello, bird. Uh, a little anxious and stressy today? Yeah, that's understandable. It's beautiful out, though, so maybe we'll all go out and get some vitamin D into our skins. And that would be good, you know? It would be nice to uh, get our hands in the dirt, too. Because we've got to lay out the beds. It's supposed to... Albert likes my streams. Does he chat at me, or does he sit patiently and watch? <laughs> um, so, it, even though the sun is shining and it's blue skies today, it's supposed to rain this weekend... And we were going to rent an auto tiller to till up some garden beds, but that looks like it's going to have to wait until next week um, when it's sunny again. But we are going to go out and I, I at least want to like edge the gardens and figure out where they're going to be and how they're going to be and probably like chop up the... We have some... We had to take down some branches from some trees and the branches are, I don't know, yay big in diameter so um sing silent budgies are scared or tired okay good to know um we're gonna chop those up into one and a half foot lengths and then use them to edge the gardens like um uh i don't know if you've seen garden beds in minecraft but they've got posts around the outside so kind of like that uh hanging in there a long week but today is okay it might snow this weekend. Uh, you hear a meow? <laughs> That's Salem. He's outside the door. I'll I'll see if he wants to come in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. <sighs> meow. Really? Hello, say. You hear a mow. There. Now he's purring. Yeah. 
Now he's trying to get at my coffee. All right. Over there you go. Ah. Oh, no, now he wants on my lap. Okay, come on. I'm streaming to the internet. I don't have all day. Get on there. There you go. He, yeah, see, he, he wants this. He wants this. No caffeine for kitties. Yeah, well, tell him that. <laughs> oh. It's okay, little man. I gotcha. <laughs> Your breath stinks. You stinky kitty. Woof. <laughs> kitty caffeine? Caffeine is not good for kitties. Caffeine is not particularly good for humans either, but certainly not good for kitties. But the, the list of things that are not good for kitties is long. Um, onions, chocolate, caffeine, cat food, dog food, people food, milk, uh, cream, clay-based litter, He's patty pawing my leg. Alright. What do you want? You want a brushing? I can brush your fur. He's not going to leave me alone. Okay, out we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> if, if he were going to sit down and be um, quiet, I would have left him in here, but he wanted something, and it was probably my coffee, so I just gave him the old heave-ho out the door. Ah, it is good for them to get some exercise, so being um, tossed to run is uh, not necessarily the worst thing. I am very careful with my cats, but not particularly gentle, because, you know, they like to play. Uh, so, after that little pause, <laughs> pause, what, uh, what do we want to talk about? Anybody have uh, a topic to cover? Oh, now he's lonely. You can probably still hear him meowing away, pining for attention. I'll give him a good brushing later. Or I'll have Tams do it. <laughs> Either way. I don't know where... I don't know if there's a brush in here. I know there's a brush downstairs. We'll just... We'll be able to brush him at some point. Ah, uh, Looks like... My hair's more colorful like in person than it is on these streams so huh Albert tends to nibble your toe when you have your feet up and you just realized last night you can shake him off and not injure him because he can fly yeah I'm, I mean don't harm your animals but also you don't have to treat them like like babies because when they're fully grown animals they can usually if you see your cat jumping off of a ledge or something, you can probably um, give them a scooch and get, help them on their way and not hurt them, right? Uh, got the tomatoes up potted two days ago. Oh, up potted, like in the next size up. That's cool. Um, when is the next podcast going out? Which podcast? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. The 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 this brilliant world podcast i believe goes out this friday or sunday i don't remember what the date was tams would know um as for kink geek it goes out uh next week so on uh the monday two mondays from now um 
we have, I, I can tell you. So it went live on May 1st, so Friday. So the next episode will probably be live on the 15th uh, of Friday. That's the schedule. All of our podcasts, unless otherwise stated, are on a bi-weekly schedule. I believe that when we get, excuse me, the Watches podcast going, it'll be once a month. Oh yes, we're making a Let's Watch podcast. Um, but we're taking our time because we don't want to overstress ourselves. And we've got a lot of gardening to do. <sighs> However, thank you for asking because if people didn't know, Kink Geek is officially back. Uh, it's available, I believe it's available on iTunes, it's available from Spreaker, it's available, um, let me actually just go find and see if it's available in my podcast downloader. I use, um, Podcast Addict to download and curate my podcasts, and, uh, I'm just going to go search for Kink... Geek. Nope, not available on Apple Podcasts yet. Well, darn. It really should be. Because it was before. Trees are greening up here, uh, greening up here, and the community garden people put out another email saying, not yet, but maybe in a week or two. Yeah, um, we're looking at getting the beds ready, and then we'll be hopefully doing our planting one, two, three, three weeks in three weeks. Um, because we're a bit norther, a bit more north than you, eh? We're we're in the we're nowhere near the true north. We're not even on the cusp of the true north. We got a ways to go, like an hour up north before we get to the cusp of the true north. But uh, we're still where we are. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that was goofy of me. I apologize for being goofy. Uh, never apologize for being goofy. So, who else is out there? I wonder. I'm curious because if you now if you don't want to say hello, if you just prefer to watch, I should check though to make sure somebody poked me on Facebook to said and said, "Hey, we're not getting um you're not getting my my messages in the chat." And I'm like, "Really? That's weird. I don't think you're blocked." Uh, I don't know if Tams is anywhere near the... <laughs> I don't know if Tams is anywhere near the, um, the moderator, uh, buttons, but do you know if we have anyone blocked who shouldn't be blocked? I remind you of the guy from Men With Brooms? You've seen Men With Brooms? I love Men With Brooms. <laughs> Mostly because of Paul Gross and not Leslie Nielsen, but, you know... Men with brooms. Has anybody else seen Men with Brooms? Top chat. No, I've I've got it set to live chat. Um, thank you though, um, because that is definitely something that could uh, could be an issue. But uh, I do have it set to live chat. Chat rate. Just checking back my metrics. That's interesting. Do to do, do. Concurrent viewers and playbacks should be similar, but it ain't. Huh. Oh, I know. I see what the difference is. Anyway, um, probably not going to talk for too much longer, uh, unless somebody has something specific that they'd like to talk about. 
um, I do thank you for joining me. And again, if you are uh, in the chat but not, or if you're watching but not in the chat, if you don't feel comfortable talking in a chat, then uh, that's okay. Uh, feel free to say hi though, because I will acknowledge you um, if I if I can physically see your messages. And um, if you'd prefer to reach out to me privately, you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at the Pro Step on Twitter. Uh, you can DM me; my DMs are open, or you can just tweet at me, or you could email me, theprofessionalstep at gmail .com. I am here to be a uh, a kind voice. I'm I'm here to be a friend. Normally, uh, in my I just lost all my viewers. Did the stream go? No, that's weird. Um, stream health is still strong, but all of my metrics went away. Strange. Uh, I'm a professional cuddler and intimacy coach, and I would uh, be having one-on-one -on -one meetings with people about uh, intimacy issues, but obviously I can't do that because we all have to stay in our homes. Um, so instead, what I'm here to do is be... A friend to people who are feeling lonely and if that's you or if you know someone or if you just want to say hello reach out to me I'm here I swear I'm not scary um, you were going to bring up men with brooms last night when we were talking talking it's one of your favorite movies really one of your favorites interesting it's about curling sort of um, and when did I say bye? I didn't say bye. Life has been busy. <laughs> Ain't it just. It's funny how our picture of busy changes from, time, from day to day, from time to time. Um, anyway. I meant to ask, because I don't know, because I haven't gone back and watched, but does do my streams cut off abruptly? I'm still having trouble figuring out how the uh, YouTube Live Studio is handling things, because there seems to be a considerable lag between when my streaming software sends, what my streaming software sends, and what uh, YouTube is displaying there's like a at least 15 seconds so yes they do end abruptly well that's just annoying uh, they shouldn't because I give ample time for the um, for the why didn't anybody Tams why didn't you tell me that they were ending abruptly um, I give ample time after I finish talking until I hit end stream and still it feels like they probably end abruptly so I guess I gotta figure this out honestly you, YouTube's new tools are just worse than the old ones um, I hate being the kind of person who complains about something just because it's new but the functionality is just worse it just is and I wish there were another option uh, if I have an end card, you could throw it for 30 seconds. There will be a better buffer. That's a good, um, that's a good point. Thought it was our internet lag? Fair enough. Um, well, apparently there's going to be some banging and rattling going on now. And there's a dog, um, who needs to be let in. So I think I am going to, um, call it a day. Uh, common for Twitch streams. That's also irritating. Oh, the end card is common for Twitch streams, yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. And do remember to reach out if you need anything. I'm here. So, uh, thank you for joining me. And we'll come back. We'll see you tomorrow. Same chat time, same chat channel. Bye, everybody.